So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to talk about a couple easy fixes uh, for a toilet that is wobbling, and then I'm going to talk about a few of the things you can look for uh, to make sure it's not one of those uh, more serious issues. All right, so the first thing we want to look for kind of when we have, if we do have a wobbly toilet, is how it rocks. Does it walk, rock side to side, or does it rock front to back? Um, and usually you'll be able to tell because there's the, there's a gap on one of the sides, whether it's over here on the side um, or whether it's right here on the front. But you'll see it rocking uh, front to back a little bit and you'll see a little bit of movement when you actually move it. So the first thing we want to do is we're just going to take off our caps here and there's going to be one on each side. We're just going to take our wrench down here, tighten this down a little bit. Now don't tighten it too much because um, you could potentially crack the porcelain. Now, um, I usually just give it a couple of revolutions um, if it's not if it's not too loose. If it's real loose, um, that could be a sign of another issue, um, but you could just tighten it down a little bit. All right, so the other thing to look at is the washer. Um, at this point, we're just making sure it's not bent. If it is, you're just gonna wanna take the nut off and replace it. All right, so we've tightened our bolts down and unfortunately that has not fixed the problem. Um, we still got a little wobble. Um, so next we're going to use what's called a toilet shim here. Um, these are pretty inexpensive and I'll link to them in the description. You can use wood shims. Um, I think these look a little bit better. These are clear. They're hidden. Um, and these I think will last a little bit longer. The wood shims may end up splitting out on you. But at this point all you're going to do is find your, find your spot where you got gaps. and Push that in. Uh, may have to wiggle it a little bit get it in there but really just push it in. You shouldn't need a hammer or anything. Push it in tight um, there and that'll stop moving front to back. Stick one in the side here as well. Again don't need to put it in as far but just a little bit there. Then we're just going to hold on. Flip it up like that, and it'll snap away. And there you go, and that's gonna hold your toilet there. All right, so one question I do get a lot is, should you caulk around this or not? Um, I don't personally, um, but I don't see a reason not to. Um, I, you're, I, at least in my opinion, it's not gonna block water. I don't caulk all the way around the toilet. I would just do the front maybe the sides a little bit, but uh, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. All right, so now let's talk about a few things to look for uh, that might indicate a more significant issue. Now, the first one I would do definitely is you're gonna flush your toilet here, and then you're just gonna look around here for any possible water that might be coming out. Uh, get in close and look along the sides, both sides, and just make sure you don't see any water coming out. As long as you don't see any water, uh, you know, your, pro your wax ring is probably still good. All right, so the next thing we're going to check out is just our screws down here. Um, and I advise just pushing those, trying to wiggle them a little bit. Um, if they wiggle, um, you might be able to tighten them. Um, if not, um, it's very likely you got your flanges busted or something more serious is broken down there. Um, so again, something you can look at, just try to wiggle those around. And if they don't move, you're good, but if they do, again, it could be a sign of a more significant issue. All right, so another area to look at would be the ceiling below the toilet. Um, we're just looking for any potential staining um, in the ceiling or anything that looks like it's been covered up. Um, that would be if you have a uh, finished basement. All right, so if you don't have a finished basement, it's a lot easier. Um, really, all we're looking for is our sewer line here um, and then looking for any potential staining or anything that might be wet around the sewer line um, where the flange would be um, and that would be a good indicator of a bigger issue. Alright guys as always thanks for watching and if you found this video helpful make sure you hit that like button help us out with the YouTube algorithm and as always if you're not already a subscriber make sure you click below and become one and we'll catch you on the next one.